Hey everyone! WP Media Folder plugin has been a huge help for me when it comes to developing and managing my media library. WP Media Folder is the easiest and most efficient way to manage all of your media on WordPress. It comes with a ton of useful and easy to use features, such as managing and filtering media and folders. You can move or upload folders to your media library using the navigation bar on the left side or the center display. You can also right click on a folder to rename it, change its color, create a new subfolder inside it, or even change its permission setting. Now, I've already discussed these features along with the cloud integration add on in my previous videos. Today, I want to introduce you to a new and very interesting feature that will allow you to quickly change your media files that you're using on WordPress. So, let's dive into the duplicate and replace feature that's included in the WP Media Folder plugin. I'll walk you through how to replace and duplicate a file using this feature and explain what it's used for. So, let's not waste any time and get started. Hey there, to get started with these features, we'll need a file to work with. So, I'm going to create a new folder and upload some media files into it. All you have to do is click on the Upload button and select the files that you want to upload. It's that easy. Once the upload process is complete, your files will be displayed here. Now, let's say you have a file that you no longer require for whatever reason. Instead of deleting it and re-uploading another file, you can simply click on the file and a new tab will open up. In this tab, you'll find the Upload and Replace button. It's as simple as clicking on Replace, uploading the media file that you want, and then you're done. The Replace feature of WP Media Folder is not only simple and convenient to use, but it also generates a new thumbnail for the media file you replaced and updates the image everywhere on your website if you are using it. Let me give you an example of how it works on my Elementor page. First, I'll search for Imagine in the search bar and add a block to my page. Then, I'll choose a media file from my library, let's say one of the files I just uploaded earlier. After that, I'll click on Preview and the image will be displayed on my page. Now, let's say I want to replace that image with a new one. I'll head back to my media library, select the image I just uploaded to my page, replace it with another picture, and once the upload process is complete, I'll go back to my Elementor page. Voila! The picture has now been replaced with the new one I just uploaded. This means that if you're using a media file for your pages, and you don't want to go through the multiple and complex processes of uploading a new file, deleting the old file, and going to each page to change it, you can simply use the replace feature of the WP Media Folder plugin. With just one simple click, all the files on your website will be replaced with the one you desire. It's simple, efficient, and a real time saver. Let me introduce you to another feature of WP Media Folder plugin, Duplicate Media. As the name suggests, this feature allows you to create a new copy of your media files without having to upload them again. All you need to do is select a file and click on the duplicate button. A new copy of that file will then appear in the folder you are currently in. With this feature, you can create as many copies as you want and modify them without affecting the original file. For example, you can move the new copy to another folder and then go to your Elementor page. Add a new block to your page and insert the picture you just moved to another folder. This does not affect the original file, so even if you replace the new copy or the original file, they will not conflict with each other. This feature is incredibly useful for creating multiple versions of the same file or for experimenting with different modifications without affecting the original file. Finally, and now that really the end, let's check the integrations that the Gallery plugin has. There are many WordPress plugins integration with their respective content blocks, widgets or modules, whatever their names are. Also, and that's more interesting, there are many clouds integration, meaning that you can host your images on those systems, whether it's for performance purpose or just for the storage offered. In fact, there's performance connectors like Amazon S3 or DigitalOcean in storage integration like Google Drive or OneDrive. This plugin is available at $49 without all these integrations we've just seen but with all the features we've just tested in this video. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. And of course, 
you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.